Are they going to be able to execute? They don't have an IGL. Who's going to be the leader? Who's going to be the caller? They've gotten to this point in the tournament again now just one series away from achieving the international stage. But they're still All right, so I'm going to have to ban you for this match. The Goodbye. Side. They're going to be running the Rays Bye. into the jet combo on the other side. NRG already aggressive. The wow. flash is out. The swing is there too, but second with the classic punches back. What can Demon 1 do? Trying to land onto a second. Nothing is found, but the damage has been done. And Doug, both duelists. I can't have my mods rooting for NRG. Right he has to go Even somewhere else. Sorry. Other. I actually banned him. I think there have been <laughs> a, a lot of conversation right around second. And mm -hmm. we know the kid is nuts. He's goaded. He continues to impress and continue to improve. But I think there's been this question. Honestly, now, everyone now else can root for NRG if my mods are on my biggest, team. How can nah. match up against Demon 1? Yeah, so far, so good. Exactly. And Demon 1 has been known to outshine every other duelist and honestly yeah. out, out 1v1 yeah. any other duelist in this league so far. Mm -hmm. But Zekin, he's been putting his head down, putting the work in for years to get to this point. And it looks like this A site will be free. A little bit of a retake from NRG. And this is what we saw a lot the last time they played this map. 30 seconds left. Retake focus setups. Demon one sitting very healthy after those after that confrontation. Oh, Paranoia is not going to land, but it's not going to matter. Zekin with three on the round, all of them with the classic, and they get the spike down. Just Demon one and Crashy's left to try to save the situation. I like that proactivity from the likes of Sun. Is this? There's no way. Wait, is there a place that they can do this? They're all going to get really close. Whoa! Wow, that Molly was huge from Crashies. Holy shit! Up for the for Sentinels on the round, but Crashies just sticking the bomb. And how many times have we seen this energy roster do this? They just stick the bomb. They don't care. So much faith in their team. Is this what we're in for? B. Already. It's been one round. Already. <laughs> They got pushed so far into elbow, they had to spit at their feet. They couldn't contest the defuse, and it just wasn't enough. Look at Ethan, he's like, ooh, you're going to give that to us? Big mistake, huh? Big mistake out of Sentinels there. I mean, you'd kill to have that one back, but there's no time to think it over. They've invested. Yeah, they've invested into the round. You're right. Stingers and then a share for Sassi. Once again, wanting to return to the scene of the crime, investing and turning their eyes over towards A. Marv close by, though. It looked like they wanted to flood there, but something made Marv call that off. Yeah, I think oh, twice no. about it. Ew. And speak of the devil, the demon is here. Holy shit. Already getting two on the round, pushing the pace and dashing forward. He already turned bomb. I mean, you've got to check it now, right? Surely you don't fall for that again. Demon one holding the line, or at least trying to. Ethan one. Wow. Ethan sticking the defuse, and that's another one for NRG. That's such a great call that you just made there. They have to check. That was such a now. nice Absolutely. shot from Demon one. Holy fuck. The first round, they're going to be worried about that. Oh, is NRG sticking the bomb in a 2v3, in a 2v4? In this case, they have the numbers, but. Look at Demon 1 already. Mm -hmm. Second wasn't even his initial target. Yeah. Like, that was such a last second flick. Oh, what a great spray down from Crashies there. That was clean. Wait, they're not really shooting back, bro. No, they're not. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's a little too early to tell if they're shooting back or not, but, uh, you know. I mean, Zekin has so far. Definitely. A great start for the youngster, but oh. it's a rough start to this round. I remember what I was saying. Demon One's so good at isolating the opposing team's duelist every single time he plays a game. And he's so confident in taking that duel. Well, and then, you know, some of the mind games become a factor too, right? It's not just a fight that's happening in the server. It's wow. happening outside of it. What's happening between the ears of the players and so far for Sentinels. This is a, a good start, all things considered. Look at how aggressive NRG has been playing some of these setups. Trying to take the fight into the, maybe not at the first barrier, but into those spots that Sentinels like to walk into. Right. The second line of defense. Mm -hmm. Marv has gone exploring. Oh my God. Yeah, and off all that commotion, he just pushed all the way through A, like you said. An opportunistic denial of space from the controller. He's just gonna miss this timing, but I should give the info that they are working up mid here. Especially yeah, you, when this trip breaks. Yeah, and you start to see some of the pings on the minimap too. Suspicious of where they might oh be. Last player standing. <laughs> They waited spike too long. They waited too long. Marv not able to clean up the third. The but with 42 HP, that quickly. Oh, I thought that was scary. Zero. 
NRG up three over yeah. That was a really, really good push from Marv. He was looking at tiles the entire time, but just looks to his left for a brief second, gets the 2k there. Little spray down with the Spectre long range. Do -do -do -do. And uh, it's, it's already here. Demon one snowballing off of every round. All the kills he's gotten with that Guardian. Now he already has an op in his hands. My oh, Spectre so does not work like yeah. that. Holy fuck. A great start for NRG. And again, it looks like it may continue. Demon 1 with the op in hand, blades in his back pocket as well. And I, I really want to shout out this strategy from NRG where they're, they're not playing for the first, the first wave of util. They're playing for the second walk-in. And that's so important because it, that, that's just all prep, prep work, right? They know that Sentinels likes to use the dagger to find close space, take, take control of areas early on. But they're playing for that second layer. It looks like Sentinel so far is not ready for that. Let's see if there's any adaptations made from Sen to maybe save utility on the first choke. Bolt used to clear out the site. NRG respectfully giving up all the space that they need to. That's an Demon one point. has an operator. So They're gonna live to fight another day. Wingman should successfully get the spike down, and the crowd will cheer. <laughs> Right on cue. And not only that, but he gets to pick up the ult yeah. again. Yeah. The saucy. Gonna use this for NRG's retake. It's quiet across the border now. What's the cue for NRG to go? You see some of the smoke start to come out from they're the controller. They're contacting. All the way though? It's not with second and tens there. And again, Saucy still has his ult. Hasn't used it yet, but I think NRG might be calling Save. the whistle already. Yeah. And I mean, uh, I respect it. I respect it. You have an off on the board, right? Yeah. You want to see Demon 1 try to get an entry first. I mean, he, he whipped the shot. He did get the dash out. So had he gotten that kill, maybe it would have opened up the entire site for the right. retake. But very clean utility out of Sentinels here to take the A site. I really like that ult from, from Saucy once again. Wrapping all the way around lane, going into elbow so we can pick it up again. That's huge to have for that post plant. Just the replay. There was that off shot that you mentioned. Second and ten did a really good job of holding the line. Yeah, it, great poise from uh, Zek in there to not peek as soon as the Molly came out. He understands. He can let it cook a little bit. He's not mm. going to die right away. Try to catch him off on a timing. That's exactly what he did. Really A control here. There. Will pop flash line up for a second to get elbow control. Fire he does have his ult on line. Oh, he goes up lane. Is there anything? Oh, the knife. He should know. He's could be anywhere. Yeah, there, it's it's almost too big. There it is. That'll connect. Marvel's we'll take it. Sitting duck had nowhere to go. Tried not to move. Ultimately, doesn't matter. Numbers advantage still in favor of Sentinels. Is Marv and Ethan have both fallen? Ah, still in the hands of the duelist, but again, not really finding space. Not really able to convert any of this into some room. What a great hit from Sen. And something they struggled with saving the last time they on this map. you know it's the smartest thing you can do there these a hits but it looks like they're way more rehearsed now on utility not missing anything i think in their matchup they, did, they didn't even have a, a molly lineup for the default of a where in their previous comp with the breach they would always have the breach c to clear that area out so now i think that they they went to the lab and they cooked up saucy might be sitting on zero kills, zero assists, but his utility has been getting tremendous value and yeah. info. The impact he's had on these rounds has been yeah. tremendous. And so with that I am set, very confident in Sentinel's um, retakes and defense. Like so really if we early. get... Well, that's really important going into this round. Maybe already having a hard read. The blades are online. The off is currently mid. And they've got an early pit invested, Amen. Beautiful dagger gets all the info for Sen. They're aware now that this jet was trying to go for the walkout mid, so a very, very hard read. What they don't know though is that it's Marv who has the op, and they don't know where he is. Very true. Oh, they know now. Yo, thank you, Marv, bro. Thank you. Whoo. Thank you. Thank you. Look, they just reset here. Thank you. But energy should be aware that they saw. Multiple bodies crossing off of that one off shot. I think what they That's don't you see look at the minimap. Yeah, what I think they don't know is if the hit's gonna be split through mid or not. Because mm -hmm. they just dropped a one-way back and spawn. 
They have to respect that. This is scary. Start to see some of the flashes come through with the nades. Room ball on the way out, Dizzy. Oh, we got knife. Now they have a paranoia. They're gonna have to navigate around as well. This is so scary. Starting wow. to make their way forward. Second on the first, the flash. There's the blades, but they're no longer around for this world. Nice. Central's finding everything they could possibly want. Phew. And another situation where we're just calling the save. Mm -hmm. Save fun. <laughs> I mean, the money is just going to continue to abound for Sentinels if this persists. Yeah. Yippee. And to be fair, I mean, there's not much you can do with an op and one right. It looks like Sentinels right? is they shooting back, chat. Yeah. Sentinels doing a great job of picking the right site Let's off go. the contact that they did. And that second dagger, Celsius, got to shot him out right now. Getting massive value with his dagger so far. He basically made Demon 1 useless this entire round. I mean, he got knifed twice, twice in a row. Ethan got caught out there, maybe thinking that his team was going to flood a little bit faster. They're hunting these weapons. I mean, it's... As they should. It's primarily just Celsius who's going to be the closest. But can they get there in time? No. So the op and the rifle will be carried into the next. And will be surrounded by a couple of other weapons that are purchased. The op goes back into the hands of Demon 1. And we get to look at that play one more time. Good. Oh. Night. That's so close. And it's shots like that, missed shots like that. That is the difference between winning and losing a round, right? That oh, is for true. Sure. 100%. That one kill could have been so impactful. Here we go again okay, from buddy. energy, Focus setting up, up for early mid aggression. Is Sentinel aware this time, though? Crash clears. I really like that he breaks the dagger there. Yeah. Because it's going to make Sentinels overthink here and potentially have to use more utility to clear it. But maybe that Omen Smoke was a giveaway and no one's pushed up. No info on the other side. The orb up for grabs. Oh, and one again. Just a little short. Oh, he had a second chance. Thank you. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you very much. Yep. have him pinched. Yeah, I mean, they can't get out. They've lost all mid control. Though. This is scary, though. Spawn. Look, this Marv. Has to be clean from Sen. Second has gotten out a little bit, but keep a close eye on Ethan. He's tugged. And I don't think they know that Ethan's there. He finds two with the shield. Ew. Crashes with another saucy left. Alone. Wait. Ethan was Slash. disgusting He's there. Done. What a cross. Holy fuck. Sen. Investing so much utility to try to push Demon One off the That was offline. such a cheeky but little angle, dude. I swear, whenever I stand there, I die. For Ethan to have a crossfire with him. That was and a nice crossfire. So nobody could play in the main. Look at these shots. As oh. the cage is coming up. That Ooh. first one is He's nuts. nutty. <laughs> Both teams is vibing right now. Zekin sitting at 10 and 4. Satcheling forward and continuing to push the pace. Look at how fast he takes control. That's of that. really close. Whoa, he got him anyway. Whoa. This would be ridiculous. I know exactly. How does he get away with that? Massive numbers advantage for NRG. Oh, still a 3 1. Zelsis with Spike and Toe, two members of NRG wow. on the other side. And he just dropped a single That one. flash oh, from Zelsis. Map, but their defense was immaculate, so I think just a couple more rounds for them, they'll be very confident going into defense with how they played it previously. I think historically this map has been really good for them. They've lost it, what, once? Yeah. Including the offseason and all that stuff. I think they've only dropped this map one time, so they're and, obviously very comfortable in it. And on two different comps. Making NRG mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. have to prep for two comps is huge. It's a lot easier just to prep for one, right? For sure. When you know what's on the other side, when you know what to prepare for, it certainly simplifies the job. Mm -hmm. I think Sen soon will realize that this is a retake setup on the A site. The trip was just high enough. That, uh oh, he's gonna get too far up. That's a good trade. Victor playing his position beautifully. Mark once again on the flank. Ethan's there to help, but they've got a trip keeping him at bay for now. No knife to bring it down or anything like that. They're gonna have to clear. Maybe Mark jumps over it. Oh, oh I like that. It's just a dog. I don't know that they're gonna be expecting a second. Now they know the paranoia tagging onto John. What a great counter flash from Tens. Marv 
trying to keep them back. The spike ticking away. Meanwhile, a fight ensues on two fronts as the spike continues to get approached upon. One Demon runs out, but now he's dead. Mara falls too. That's another round for Sentinels. Wait, Tyson had paranoia that whole time. That paranoia back was fucking huge towards me. Tens was sitting Holy on fuck. And actually still omen flashed a Wait, that's crazy. They his he still had it? Counter flashed. It, it was uh. actually beautiful. This replay, this trade. It's actually a miracle Victor got that. Yeah. But Tens played this spot so great. Playing that counter flash. Really nice. nice. Jordan, Zelsis, pop flashing right after that. Understanding that the defending team has to walk into that space. That allows John QT and him to double swing. Lizzie's down. It's a center right now. I got you. I got doing you. what they're supposed to be doing. Winning based off of the utility that they're throwing. It's great. Oh, the defensive side has taken a, a fair amount of space mid here. Marved and Demon 1 both passed that mid smoke. Tens perhaps getting a little too curious. Sassy might as well. Nothing to clear it. Oh. Ah, that feels like a mistake. Huge. Uh, I don't know if Marv was looking tiles or, or what, but... Dizzy wasn't cleared and Demon one pays for it with his life. So smart from Sun to pick up that Gecko Flash. Oh my gosh, but look at this. Look at the way Saw Marv can just slot in. I didn't see if there's other people in there, so. Oh, he saw that now. Saw him. Oh, he's gonna go hunting. Did the dog hit? It did. Celsius has no idea. There's no way he knows. Wow. So they've gotten the prize they were looking for. They managed to get to their prey, but the rest of the play is on the other side of the map. 30 seconds. And they still have the trips up from Victor. He has his ult online too. Second. What kind of post plant, Doug, is Sen gonna do here? I'd love if Zekin stays up there. They play a little high-low if you're Sentinels, but he drops down. Sen's waiting. His paranoia in hand for just the right moment to strike. Though. There it is, they both go right through each other. Ethan got tagged in seconds, one who falls. Trying to continue to funnel out from the side as Victor plays his life, plays his time, waits for the right moment. Nice, strike. baby. And it might all be too late. He's left alone. Creeping forward with three- Yippee! Ball, one ball, <laughs> Good job. Wow. This is great for and us Sentinels. five incredible right let's now, go for seven nice so dude marv has actually been spotting himself in some very cheeky little areas though i'm map, not gonna lie based off of how they're playing these post plants you saw in the beginning post plant that they did it was aggression towards that ct spawn area Remaining. now Remaining. just playing crossfires onto the site understanding that energy has been trying to contact in this lane area and punishing them for this <laughs> <laughs> it was fired up. You feel like Taylor Swift when you watch Sentinels? Into the next uh, we go. Ethan has a I wouldn't say I feel like a white woman, but up. sure. The rest of the way for an RG. I mean, and you see the respect that Sen is giving Demon One right now, as they should to not be punished by how he's been playing. Eek, scary. Wow, my ultimate is ready. This time they're finding the off on the opposite side of the map, in the hands of someone else. He's just as formidable with it. Masking the his, presence. Is that his third ult of the half? <laughs> I think it is. It might be. Uh, yeah, I think it is. And Marv gets tagged. He should be safe for now. Oh, the Molly just misses. Yeah. The Molly just missed. Just a bit that short. is scary. Looks like they're going to have to find a lineup for that now, too. <laughs> Victor's still playing on the site. He hasn't been cleared out. Do they realize that they're still one slotted in on site? Maybe off Kinda dizzy. scary. I'm not gonna lie. No maybe off of the paranoia from tens, but yeah, you're right. No smokes. Vic's still alive. He's a nuisance. He's got to be dealt with. He has to be cleared. Sean QT tries to and continues to push forward. Thirty seconds left. But you haven't checked this box. What might be the most difficult one to clear because Crash is covering on the other side. Zelf says John QT left alone, and it's all on. That is now. twelve HP. In the face of three, none found. Ooh, wow. Victor just a menace on this A site. Last round he was actually finessing so hard there. So aware of all the possibilities. Not getting caught out by the spam either, then holding a little off angle there. 
Well, I think good on NRG too to understand like you're gonna have Taylor's to Taylor's the fans are scary him. chill. To push really yeah, I, I, I get the analogy and with her uh, just from the start of the round from NRG, boyfriend Matthew or whatever, right. but yep. Demon one on he got hit um, on purpose. He wanted this is Sen to know that he was there. So that opens up the kill from Marv. And they continue to juggle this off around once again in the hands of Marv. Look at this. Oh, did he see him? No. No. Oh, but they know he's there now. Oh my god. Nice. Second just destroys him. They've invested the ult. We're gonna head B. Crashies is here though. And Ethan's not far off. And they've kind of been split up. I don't remember the last time I've seen a whip like that from Demon One. Is he okay? <laughs> I would have lost my mind. Not with an op, surely. Cover going out. You've seen crazier things. Sen playing a full post plant. Something I want to point out is that Tens has been holding on to his omen flash. And speaking of Tens, just takes Victor's head clean off. Three left up for the defense. As the timer continues to tick away, there's that paranoia. A tap from Ethan and the Molly at his feet didn't get it to half. They're gonna have to win these gunfights because they know now that it's not being stuck. Ethan, halfway there, three quarters, 90%. He's gonna stick it and he does. That is that spot. About how you felt like given the history for Sentinels, mm -hmm. a 7 5 half kind of feels okay. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, they were so solid, just like under set on these retakes, which I think is the name of the game for both these teams. Great IGLing from both sides. They're playing in the smokes, they're playing in the smokes. Dizzy over the top, the KO flash there too, and now they interrupt. How much more can they find? Victor and Ethan keeping them at bay. In the face of the knife, they find another. Just when it looked like they were gonna find success everywhere across the map, Tens is there to counter. Just a bit. Is he gonna find more? Oh, spamming oh through God. the smoke, but they don't turn. So low. Mark is just on the other side. Ghost puts him away. Now John QT in a 1v3. All of them weak. All of them tagged. The smokes were fresh. And the timing's just so he doesn't see him. John QT with one. But the double face is a little that bit That fight too was much. sloppy. What was a clean shot from John? Gets counterpicked from Victor. But yeah, that fight. Kind of much, kind of like NRG's defense, honestly, but way more aggressive. And you see the prep work from both teams now coming through. Both teams have such a good read on each other. I feel like going into this half for NRG, I think they're gonna try to find sites that John is playing retake at and just trying to abuse that. Much like how Sentinels was trying to find Victor. Where's right. Victor playing? Right. He's playing retake most of the time. Let's go to the post plants. Go to the retakes. Early space denied once more. RG. I think they should be aware that Sentinels does like to put these trap plays onto the B area. And that's why you see them taking mid. And honestly, this was the bread and butter of the last time they played. It was getting Demon 1 set up, trying to take 1v1s into mid or market area. And that's why this team plays the Jet instead of the Rays. They want to have Demon 1 try to get that pick and then dash out. Interesting decision was just made there by Sentinels. They fed the orb. It could have gone into Sasi's hands, second hands, mm -hmm. or Zelsis's hands, and they put it in towards Zekin, who's now the closest to having his ult online. They might make it here in time for this hit. NRG not taking their timing, not, not taking the window. I think Sen have a hard read that it was a faint smoke in mid. <laughs> Look at this, they're gonna have all five players here a five on five they were all so quiet john qt falls crash he's pushing forward the flash on the other side of the wall is going to cause disarray across the site Celsius will not be around for long as nrg get another what a sick viper wall doug it's it splits that is a really half. nice viper wall not only does it allow you to walk up a main for free off a of contact and take that elbow control but it allows you to walk on all site good that was our save yeah, chat so important because all good we saw victor even just there finessing exactly. right exactly there you see that wall and it was crashy i believe it was crashy who funneled in behind the wall as soon as they had that early contact yeah. you're absolutely right very good game planning around the comp that they have because they don't have all this utility to clear these these tight corners and these 
places that people can be hiding behind, right? So they have to walk into spaces like that, and having that wall cut off CT is so crucial to do that. And uh, again, the, a very slow round from NRG. It's really taking their time. Look at this Viper wall for the B split. I, almost identical in concept to what they were doing oh, on the other side, but this time they've run into tens. Ultimately meeting his death, but he's already gotten so much value. John trying to turn the flash to clip wrench dry and demons there to greet him. I don't think he's gonna pick this Phantom up. I think he's gonna stay on the Guardian. I mean, when you're not good with it. Yeah. I don't think he likes the Phantom very much, Doug. Great Molly. Yeah, they've just been a couple of threats. Ethan's tapped the spike twice, daring and beckoning any challenge from the opposition. Now Demon One hold the line. Second. Oh, the timing was perfect. Ethan in a 1v3 with the Guardian, and Zekin dismisses him. And for a second there, I was kind of worried. You know, when Zelsus Molly the default box and made Demon One go wide, I thought that's what they wanted. I thought they wanted to punish him. Sure. But they're like, nah, forget that. We already have a win con of Zekin flanking that entire round. Why, why even give a chance yep. to Demon One? So you can you can you can tell the respect that they have for this player as they should. Holding market's so scary. So many Let's, go, Let's, go, play. Good job. Let's go, baby. Every round. Yes, sir. Six, yes, sir. <laughs> Sixteen and eleven for Zekin. Yeah. All these questions about experience and can you handle the biggest stages, the biggest moments so far. I mean, he's answered the call and he's done so quite admirably. God, this entire off season was meant for him to basically have like get that experience on land and yep. everything take him over the edge i don't think victor i don't think victor knows that tens is here shadows traveling this is this is a crazy timing maybe a hard read from sen understanding that vic likes to throw this cam oh the footstep was made yeah he heard that nice that's huge just like that and he's been you missed up, your tp like You've got scary Gets out of the cam, feeling some of the pressure. Oh, that smoke needs to go up. Just in time. There's no flash on the other side of this, yeah. so maybe they double face? Think, or they just hold in the smoke? I think John is aware. Will the mid players from NRG get first contact is the question. It just seems so far away. They no, it's that. Vic who's creeping Vic forward. Elbow. The contact Vic out. His elbow, Doug. I don't know that he did. John QT. Toggling the camera now, spotting Demon One. And now they know something is afoot. Both of them spotted. They've got trips. They have hands. The paranoia is going to connect. But is there a punish? Is there something to capitalize on it? Yes. Nice all. Peter invests the old butt. Crashes his gun behind enemy lines. Nice tie. Can you find any more value? No. Bro, if I played against NRG with their play style, I think I'd fucking fall asleep. I'm not gonna lie. Like, they just contact up everything. It's very CS. And he's been holding on to them. It's, it's something that's very interesting. Maybe a, maybe a little game plan read or something. Because even on the attacking side, he was holding on to it for the post plant. Wasn't even using it for the initial hit. It's that same Viper wall out from NRG that we were talking about earlier. They've taken a lot of space mid, though. The buy is lackluster, but the space they've taken so far could prove to be the difference maker. Waiting on the other side of the trips, also throwing a little shoulder, showing a little skin, and then backing right on up. That allows space for the eight players to walk up here. Saucy's there to greet on the other side. Meanwhile, Ten's got the best of four. Oh. Saucy with three on the round. He's got another ult on mine. <laughs> and Zach can just run it in there. <laughs> Zach is so ready. Went, <laughs> he went nuts. Yeah, they he's like, yeah. Before he had a chance to fire this. He did a clip right there. <laughs> and he's been relatively quiet in terms of firepower all game. So for him to be, to be waking up at such a crucial time, it's very important going forward. And kind of dangerous from the likes of NRG now. Wow. <laughs> Big play out from Saucy. Good job. <laughs> and the lead continues to dwindle away. Just one now. One round separating these two squads. What? Okay! He's Let's the go! Right the man has ascended. Fuck, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's a part of this roster. 
small little things like that, just understanding timings. But it works out for him this time. And they have the luxury too of having such a big advantage with so much time left on the round. I mean, they can still play the map however they want. Yeah, getting rid of that Viper Lurk. They don't have to worry about this at all. Right, just exactly. Just contact here. You'll probably see Saucy just jiggling this, but the main fight is actually going to happen here in Market. Sends is close. He has a Paranoia. You imagine as soon as that trip goes down. They should be ready for this. Yeah, I think they're aware. Great knife. Oh, it's broken, though. A better reaction. What are they trying to draw out of here? That's going to oh, be a lot of info game for Marv. Yeah. What do they do off of this, though? Oh, my God. The energy are playing this so carefully. 30 seconds left. So quietly, so cautiously. Tens is ahead of the cage. Wow. Tens falls, neural theft used. Oh, look wow. at Marv. Dude, they were down in numbers and they snatched Holy the right fuck. Back. Spike planted. <laughs> Marv was there to greet Saucy unaware. No real chance to fight back. That was a really nice I mean, uh, execute, though. Mid rounding. With With NRG. Without Viper. Yeah. Without the lurk. True. Putting doubt in the minds of Sen. Off of that top mid smoke, yeah, they did have a cam that was holding that space the entire time, but the fact that they put so much pressure on that B area, John had to get off of that cam. And that opened up the gap for Jimmy, Marv, to come all the way back around top mid and catch that timing off the B main contact. And to hold, yeah. And it, I, 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 just real quick, I gotta say, yeah, Tyson's been feeling himself the last couple of rounds, but I think that kind of got to his head here because for some reason, he, he took a timing in front of those cages that that Victor threw and ultimately gave Victor a 1v1 and him dying there. That was, that was a disaster. That, that opened up the entire map. Take a look Good at that. Energy. We'll take a look at that opening kill one more time. Is. Ultimately irrelevant in how things played out. I also remaining. love the little hezzy that NRG threw in there once they hit market. Yeah, cutting noise. Just, just pausing for half a second. I yeah. mean, it wasn't very long, but it was just enough to and cause problems. Jacob, I'm falling the asleep. A, the a main line. They had no info on whether or not NRG was going back. So right. just that that whole pause, just letting it cook in the in the brain of Sun makes people move, makes people worried about different things. He gets off a cam. Another slow round here from NRG. Just one gun fired. You should understand from the audio cue that more than one person was uh was seen by that though. But nobody moving from the likes of Sun. Crashies is one point away from having Zolt online. It's a new Viper wall, by the way. Yeah, it is a little bit different the angle is, isn't it? This is just to take all of sight. The flash. Taking a little bit of info. Oh! But tens again. He commits there. He did such a great job getting the one. If he would have just gotten out, had a 5v4 Welcome with Omen Flash, perhaps. Now they're going to have to deal with this pit. The one benefit, though, for Sentinels is that they have the Gecko ult. And that's a perfect thing to try to clear out something like this. Oh, this is perfect. We'll see if it can find oh. value. It's going to tag them. Do they flood, though? Do they capitalize in on this window? Mar pushes forward, expecting the aggression. The pit gets dropped. How much more can they find? They're trying to flash out and funnel through the utility. A 3v3, Jonky T, 1 HP as he falls. Elsis left alone, 16 HP in a 1v2. Wow. Tries to get a free one in the spam, and it's just not going to be found. Marv, so clutch wow. for his team. Understands that he has to push up there. He has to try to take out anybody walking into that Viper That Viper is because if he didn't, really smart. Crashies is just dead, and it opens up the entire retake for Sentinels. I think the other thing, too, is Marv's understanding of the timing on that. Exactly. No, the pit went up. Crashies got tagged, and there was still uh, just a slight delay before he dropped back down off that box and challenged the pit. Perfect timing. He understood yeah. that. If Tyson had a Phantom there, there, he'd do so much more damage. Right away. <laughs> and he's 17 and 12 right now. Really taking over. Cover going out. A three round lead. It was down to one. But NRG have found a second lease at life. I like this from NRG. He slow rounds. Not trying to get caught by anything aggro. 
They don't want the round to end in the first, you know, 15 seconds, which when you're up against the likes of these shooters on Sentinels, <laughs> it can really happen that fast. And that's really been their approach the entire half. Yeah. Right? Meticulously dissecting and devouring everything the defense is showing. I will say here for Sentinels, they've taken a lot of space A main. There's just a trip keeping them back. Mm -hmm. But second finds the opener. Down, mid. Great response from Crashies. Fast trade. You see the hours of Otterview going in yeah. to these games. Against other teams, maybe Sentinels would break that trip, but this time, staying there, not breaking it. Understanding that energy likes to rewalk into space. Saucy and usually Zekin in those scenarios just blast packs out. So yeah. again, like I just feel like Sen is making these small mistakes of staying in for too long. Saucy can get a lot here. If he tucks, the first is found. The nice. Oh, flash right off of that. And the dizzy. Oh, this guy's. Yeah, he's. I mean, well, it's Demon One. <laughs> He gets his first. Isn't that funny? 10 seconds Ten left seconds though, a flash left. in his face, a spike in hand, but just no room allotted, no space found. They continue to swarm and pursue him from every single nice. angle. And what was that, Bobby? <laughs> but they really throw the whole kitchen, the whole kitchen at Demon 1. You have to. You can tell. They don't want him to get anything going, not even a 3k. They want a one in, they want one a thing one that I've nine. noticed yeah. with the yeah. way that energy instantly. played contact wise is that I don't think I ever really yeah. see Demon really One cool. smoke and dash in. Correct me if I'm wrong, just the but they're just very around. like yeah. right? take space, too, right? exactly. yeah. recontact back up. This comp is meant for lurks. It's meant for contact plays. And here comes aggression here. A change of pace from NRG, but the knife. Initial reaction slows down the entire push and the dizzy from the tarnish. Second was there on the swing. The timing is gorgeous. Woo. Oh, sandals are not done yet. Shadows traveling. Refusing to relent on sunset. <sighs> it's Marv, Ethan, and Victor are left alone. These are the dangerous rounds from NRG. That is true. They when, have two rifles too. Yeah, when sound is cut and nothing is being shown. They just finesse their way. Look, they're, they're sitting behind the trip. They break it. Now what? What's the next reaction? That timing. They're coming out. There's still one more on site. And John was here last time. And he's alone. And there's help maybe around the corner via Celsius. He's just now finally starting to arrive, but the leader's overwhelmed. Now weapons upgraded. All three of the members of NRG have rifles. They haven't committed to getting the spike down quite yet. Celsius popping the old Ethan committing to the plan. And it looks like it's for me. planted. Look okay, at 11, 11, 11, make a wish. Post plant utility. So patient on this retake. This son. But is the patience going to be their downfall? Is it going to be too much? Second with the first. Color me shocked. Second with the third on the round, and Zelsus gets it back. Holy fuck. Danger and disaster avoided. And man, energy almost brought that round back. I set it up perfectly. They're so dangerous in the rounds where the, 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 the sound is just cut. When they put down in the minds of Sen, but Sen just going back to their fundamental play style of playing the retakes on this map. Tyson changes crosshair. This time closing it out. And I think Marv in that scenario, he got jump spotted by Zek in there, but still stayed on the angle. <laughs> Gets punished. Still such a close game. Anybody could take this away. Second has his own. Off of the paranoia! He doesn't get it off! The fuse is extinguished! Holy, nice and shot. The payload isn't delivered. What the An fuck? An early attempt at a strike at aggression from the defense. It's instantly popped. Demon Here. 1 was the one that got punished in the previous round with his ult out. This time, clapping back. I know exactly where you are. And again, Dre, the DNA is the same. They cut noise, mm -hmm. instilling just the tiniest fragment of doubt, creeping into the minds of the defense. They have to play elbow because of that Viper wall. Sassy can't give up the space, and he's gone aggressive. He's ahead of it. Wow. And he's punished more. Have to do that. Another one down. Crashies is playing this perfectly right now. 
Tens is in a really good spot though, but Crash, he's, you wonder if he's aware. Oh, the timing's so good! Tens continues to push forward, but with Amali at his feet, ultimately yeah. cannot persist. Spike planted. Celsus and John left alone. There is a challenge from behind the box as the wall goes up. Oh, this wall is so good. He gets out. I thought he was going to hit that shot. Celsus now flashed. Decayed. Paranoid. It's not planted for them, though. They still have so much time. There's nothing keeping him back. He's gotten it to half. Oh, that's all it's going to be. Uh, Crash using three on the round with the shorty. End. Has been played on retake. Quite a bit of rounds. Also, keep an eye on Marv Dole. He's been so aggressive with his TPs. Team Noana already falling. I love what they tried doing there. There was a deep smoke into B main in the yeah, spawn and the TP to, per to perhaps suggest that's where he was going. But Celsus' knife just denied all of that. He actually canceled the omen all as well. Well, look at that damage on the crashies just from that spam. And they get the pit down. Crashies getting healed up, but not to full. And he still doesn't have it. Marv just tucked. Not. Oh, no. Not from here. Oh, oh every single shot misses. And Zekin doesn't. Sentinels just continue to push forward. Wait. Crashies and Vic left alone. The duo. Tyson's behind them, though. The trio of Sentinels on the other side. Nice, baby. Well done. Good job. Gets two more. Great timing. Life Yay. For Sentinels. Ball off of Zelsus' knife. There was no smoke that was able to come out lane here. And that gets Demon 1 to be punished, losing the 1v1 against Zelsus. And that was that retake that, <laughs> yeah, that was that retake that Ender was talking about. Yeah. With the gecko flash Baby? over the top. Um, so good job, bro. You're, you're fucking killing it, 10Z zombie. Good, good job, dude. Good job, dude. Yeah, dude. You just don't have any guns, bro. Ethan has a class. Bro, you're doing insane. Keep in mind that the dagger did just hit Crashies here, so they are aware. Crashy started on the side of the map. What's the reaction from NRG? Just still cutting noise. Cheers, chat. Doubt in doubt the minds of Sen. I mean, their approach does not change. Here we go. They're starting to gear up. Walking towards that B site, but I like this proactivity from Sen. This should give them the info that this will be a B hit. And I just gotta say, the IGLing from both both teams so far has been immaculate. Oh, it's been a treat to watch. They've always, it seems like they always pick the right side. First trip cleared the dog. Went, oh, yes! Shit on him! Tense does it again! Intense on OT! But can they counter? Nice, baby! Dude! dude. Dante, they give it a 10. Hands of Sen right now after that. But OT needs a chance to reset. An op in the hands of Demon 1. And it doesn't look like there's a challenge early. These passive lines that Demon 1 has been playing all game long makes you think maybe reading a little too much into it. Fix here. The cam's gonna feel a lot of the pressure. He's oh. gotta tuck tail and try to get away. But Zekin's gone hunting! Wow. Victor's there with two! Spike down A. The tandem falls, crumbles! At the feet of Victor and Demon 1 finds value with the op. What can they do to counter? Tens and Zelsis. Spike not in hand, position surrounded. This kill on Demon 1 would be Last everything. Player standing. Oh. Spike down A. As I say that, Crash, he's just one tap Celsius. And T. Lead back. It's a different wall. A wall up. Crash, he's sectioning off mid, going deep into their spawn. Suppress. There. Crash is getting hit on purpose there. It's sad. Not even worried about it. Just complete retake on that side of the map. I mean, look, yeah, and also I, they're investing three to hold the middle of the map. They have to respect the wall. They have to respect the possibility of a flash on the other side of it and the deep push mid. Energy really cooked with this, keeping two, three players in mid with just, just this one wall. And the, and dude, the mind games continue. Uh, uh, uh. Not just no. a smoked Insane. market. There's nobody there. All signs leading to top mid, but we've seen Tyson here before. 
This time, not on top of the box. Shadow's traveling. But he's got two trips to play off of. They must know now. Oh, what's a foot? Ten's waiting on the other oh, side of the smoke. No, Victor drops him. NT. John going exploring. Here. He had the moment, not clutch this time, though. Flash deep in spawn. The spike committed. Oh, a spam kill. Did he hit the trip? May have. Ethan. Ethan Flash. He's got two, three flashes in his face. Now Zekin's there. I feel that. Numbers in favor of Sendles. Oh my gosh. Without smoke. Wait. Look at Marv. Marv. Look at Marv. The, flank. the re wrap, Doug. But is it going to take too long? No. I mean, the onus here is on Sentinels. They have to take some space. They have to do something about it here. Oh, the gecko is Wingman got half. Wingman standing. gets you so close, but can Marv get a 1v3? He's going to have to finish it on his own, and he can't. Wow. 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 Look at that trip, too, chat. Do you see that? What great utility from from Sentinels there. Switching sides. Punishing anybody that was still oh, on the time. site, getting a spam kill on the crash. Hope so, hope so. <laughs> Ethan. Good Ethan job, Wingman. Go yeah, he had no choice, man. There was a nade behind him. He had to run into the flash. From Saucy. Poor guy. He's full blind. And that's where you see the gecko just gets so much value, right? On these retakes. Having the dizzy defuse the bomb. Tap the bomb, right? So that you have four guns just holding. Fighting, yeah. And so double OT on the cards. These two teams, it's just been the first map, but they're really pushing each other. That flash made contact with Crashies, but Crashies is so deep in mid that I think that Sentinels now might have to overthink this and use another layer of utility to clear out close mid. So I think you will see the second flash in mid, perhaps, off the cooldown. It's <laughs> just silence across the board. No one really showing any early aggression anywhere no i think there's a real good chance they wait here and regroup b for Zelsis to get his knife back online and then they go this is what i was talking about the great oh, I like IGLing this. from both sides always picking this site with less numbers these igls have a hard read on the game right now especially when they're on attack start to see some of the flashes out oh, both of volley. them through and look at marv he's up top right where Thames was a few rounds ago they managed to get the spike down though. Second has fallen. NRG with numbers. And there's no late flank, at least yet. Look at Sentinels, they're not wanting to play off site. I mean, they can't because of Viper Wall. They have to play on site. Great Omen Flash. Buys a little bit of time to dash it forward out onto their left. Tench trying to hold him back and he can't. It's all onto Zelsis. A 1v2. Top of the box creeping forward. Timing Demon one. huge. Celsius cannot convert. Dude, the cr you can hear the again. crowd Look cheering. Teams are so good at retaking before the round is even He's over. And like you know, oh, making the difference. And also, just Marv there, understanding that he just needs to get his one and get out to set up that amazing retake potential that they have. Both these teams so far so evenly matched. NRG, match point once again. This is what, the third time now? Yeah. They've had this opportunity. And they're doing this mid wall again, it looks like. This time, do they actually use it? Is the question. Maybe a mid to A. Oh, it seems like they want to. Oh! I think he was a little behind the flash, just a little late. <laughs> Trying to find a timing, maybe picking. That That's the first time I think I've seen Demon 1 actually like go first. Holy fuck. A bit of a gamble, what was you that? Know, when you're in the NT, I guess. In the driver's seat like this, you know, sometimes you got to go for plays like that to try to win, you know? I think part of that goes to how they showed the, how they played around this wall in the previous OT. Yeah. Previously, it was a threat. Maybe just banking on the fact that they might not believe. How does this guy just keep Wait, what? Timings? How far up does he go? By the way, Victor has been an absolute freak on this b side of the map walking into space yeah he's been a proper menace gunfire erupts his bodies fall on both sides <laughs> this is this slow mid round again but this that, that that peak right there will be the read that this will be another one of those slow rounds where they end b that knife tagged both wow Vic with the nice two and he can't find any that was huge 
Sendles with the numbers advantage. And the very likely possibility of another round of OT. Oh! Molly soaring over the sky. Marv getting spammed through the smoke. Ethan left alone. And he will ultimately succumb to the pressure. Triple overtime. He's yelling this entire map. But now is when you see that, you know, that rumor. A facade of IGLs being able to frag while they're IGLing, yeah? So having a little bit of a rough time in that department. Got a quiet map. A lot of space taken from the defense across the middle of the map. Sentinels just looks like they're ready for this aggression, but... I think Zekin made an audio cue when he got off this angle. The dash went out. But Marv stays. Wow. Does John Hart clear this? Yes, of course he, he does. Look, he's looking he's right aware. at him. The gun barrel's gonna give him away and he gets the kill. Wow. Beautiful. So smart. Well, yeah, Will if you're giving be the mid that like that, of course you're gonna have to re-heart him that. that point. And now he's just gonna be the human drone. As I've said so many times before. A pesky lurk. He's gonna get all the info here. And Sentinels are glad to just hold. Right? They don't have to make a ton of noise. So smart from Sen to come back to the A site. Might seem like it could be the obvious play, but... Well, it might be to Victor, because he's really far up. He's hearing everything. Does he try to peek ahead of the Roomba? No. They're okay. taking a step back. It's a great nade. But somehow, honestly, Victor doesn't get away with as much damage as I would have expected. Woo! There it is. Spike sunk into the soil of the site. Wow. 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 It's feet. Saucy's there to clear. Wait, Post I time. thought that so that was a... Uh... So and Tens is on a late flank. Keep a close eye on the mini-map. Can they hold them back? Second on the first. Demon one falling. One enemy remaining. Yeah, boys. Let's Sentinels fucking go. Point. Come on. Come on. Please. Oh my god. I really like that from John. Getting the pick in mid on the reclear. Just intuition. He heard that dash. And knew something was up. Someone's gotta be here in mid. Yeah, there's no way it was just that. Yeah. And we've seen we've seen Sen on these A post plants. Just be so cold. Even NRG, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if NRG, if NRG tried to end A here. Just like Sentinels did. That A post plant, so strong. So hard to retake that. The dastardly duo of Tens and Zekin both flirting with 30 apiece. Which is just absurd. Great performances so far from them. Four members of Sentinels A. Yeah, and I think it's what I said. I think they're trying to read into this understanding the energy has had a lot of success on the A post plants and not so much on the B. I mean, they still have to reckon with that wall. If I'm not mistaken, utility was used to reclear this A space. Energy is aware. Ooh. Sen's not budging, man. Tyson's here with the Omen Flash. I think they have a good idea of what's going on here. This oh my god, this is gonna be disaster. huge. There's four here. As soon as there's content. Yes! There it is. Yes! It, I think because of that, yeah. Wait, Demon One, flash, what? But there's a flank. Oh my Demon God. One behind enemy lines. Can I get two? Oh, Tyson tucked. He Beautiful, Tyson. 16 HP. Spam on one side, the cam on the other. A 4v4. Saucy spamming into the smoke. Tap. Nice! Let's go! Second, second. Woo!